can take Zhao Felix away from Diego Simeone, but you can't take Simeone's influence away from Felix. After making an impression on his Chelsea debut against Fulham, the Blues loney was shown a straight red card, for which his manager made no excuses. He's now been suspended for three games, wasting a good couple of million pounds from his loan fee. Still, Felix's debut in English football pales in comparison to these debuts in the Hall of Shame. Get ready for altercation, keepers, messy international debut and Jonathan Woodgate. Yeah, Woodgate debut, which all other debuts are measured. But first let's start with Lionel Messi. You might imagine that the talented Barca Academy product would inspire the South American side to extend their lead. You'd be very wrong. It wasn't how I imagined it would be. You don't say Messi. The 18-year-old was introduced in the 64th minute by manager Jose Pikerman, with Argentina 2-1 ahead in a friendly fixture at the Puskas Stadium in Budapest. It's easy to forget that Messi left the international stage 47 seconds after his senior debut in 2005. The 18-year-old substitute was sent off for allegedly elbowing Vilmos Vanchak after the Hungarian defender tugged on the fleece shirt. Messi trudged off leaving us all one wondering whether that was a sign of things to come for him in an Argentina shirt. But over 17 years on, he holds the record for the most goals scored for his country, and captained his nation to glory at Qatar 2022. Gervinho, the man with the spaghetti hairdo, had Gunners fans salivating when he scored twice on his debut in a preseason match against FC Köln. when it came to making his full league debut at St. James Park a few weeks later. However, an altercation with Newcastle midfielder Joey Barton saw the Ivorian receive his marching orders, allowing him more time to go house hunting in North London, thanks to a three-match ban. He never really fired on all cylinders at the Emirates, saving his best form for Italian giants Roma, where his impressive form made him the darling, for a brief time, of the curve of sud. Tomas Repka, it's another horror show in Claritin Blue, and this time for Czech defender Tomas Repka, who arrived at West Ham for £5.5 million from Fiorentina in 2001, with a reputation for enjoying the rough stuff on the pitch, so it was a surprise to no one, when he was sent off on his Hammers debut against Middlesbrough. After sitting out the next match with his new employers, Repka then received an early bath on his third appearance for the East London club. The no-nonsense centre half was dismissed 20 times in his professional career, and made a name for himself in 2007, after returning to his homeland, where he attacked officials and a cameraman, whilst representing Sparta Prague. Ronan Lacrom. Lacrom embodies the dangers of sentimentality. His career was unremarkable. He spent 11 years at Auxerre, playing only three games, before a decade spent representing six French clubs. He was PSG's third-choice goalkeeper at the age of 38, and with his retirement looming, he came off the bench in the final game of the 2012-13 season at Lorient to ensure he was eligible for a championship medal. Only 21 minutes later, he was red-carded and forced to retire. Although makeshift goalkeeper for Mamadou Sacco couldn't save the penalty, PSG held on for a 3-1 victory. Before we jump to Woodgate's dramatic Bernabeu debut, let me give you a moment to like and subscribe to the channel, as it would help us to reach you guys with epic videos about the beautiful game. Thanks! Jonathan Woodgate, the debut against which all other debuts are measured. If it were a physical object, it would be displayed in an art gallery, let alone a museum. It's the gold standard for first days at the office, the only one. The Woodgate, Super Jonathan arrived at the Bernabeu 17 months after arriving due to injury, but left after only 66 minutes having produced a legendary performance for all the wrong reasons. Despite starting brightly, Madrid who had lost their last three games, found themselves 1-0 down on 25 minutes. A comical own goal was followed, when Woodgate's diving header diverted Jaseba at Siberia's speculative shot past his own goalkeeper. Woodgate's woes were compounded moments later, when his rustiness was exposed as he was booked for a clumsy lunge. The second period saw Madrid equalize when Rabinho scored his first goal, and then a brace from Rawl put Madrid in control. In between Rawl's goals, Woodgate's nightmare continued as he was sent off, rather harshly perhaps, after picking up a second booking for a block on ex -Siberia. He was a fantastic defender who, if not for injury, could have become an England legend. But tell today's kids how great Woodgate was as a player, and they won't believe you. All because of this terrifying hour. So, which debut do you think was the most disastrous? And if you know other tragic debuts, let us know in the comments section. And if you like to help this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you in the next video.